Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this one of the most exciting tutorials I think I've ever made, we're going to be introducing the Nob Color Remap plugin. Now, I just learned about this a little while ago. I was lucky enough to get in the beta. I was just like blown away by it. I'm so excited. I reached out to the creator and we have a promo code. So if you enter the promo code Theo at checkout, I'll put a link below. I'll get a little kickback from it, but this isn't a sponsored video. This is, I got it. And then I reached out and I was like, Hey, more people need this plugin. This is incredible. Uh, I know it might sound right now that I'm being a sellout corporate shill person, but if you do any sort of color work and as soon as you see this, you're going to totally agree with me that this is essential. So what this is, I'll go ahead and apply it right away. You see, we get these grids of curves instead of curves. So it's like 2D curves instead of 1D curves. So this is, this is where the magic's happened. So I will I'll reset this. And first of all, we'll take a look at this one shot. We're going to go through a couple shots and just, just have a bunch of fun with this. So this shot... We're in aces right now, so things are a little bit funny. And you can see her skin is not not as pretty as she is right now. So you can fix this normally. You go into your hue versus hue curve and you'd select this and you would tweak it up a little bit. Maybe about there ish. Then you go to your hue versus saturation curves and you pick it and you would bring it down a little bit. And you'd say that's probably good enough. It's not great. We could probably have a little more magenta in there. So, you know, that's, that's fine. That's the normal way of doing it. But now that we have the Nob Color Remap plugin, you can apply this and you see, here's our, first of all, our vector scope that is just available, which is super nice. And you can move these around so we could do our hue shift here. So this is just our hue versus hue control right here on our radial axis. And then on our, um, I guess, amplitude axis, I'm not sure what this would be. We have our hue versus saturation. So we can make both of these adjustments in one move, which is super duper nice. And also, if that's not enough, you can, we'll go ahead and reset this real quick. I didn't think I would use this at first, but I totally do use it all the time now. As you can click and you can see, it's showing us about where, on the vector scope, where we're reaching for. You see, that's not one of our control points. So we can go ahead and change the grid size. So we'll make this something like, maybe 12 now is probably fine. Resize, and now we get this. And now you can see if we click and drag, we're getting this really fine control. And you see how much resolution we're getting with this. So let me go ahead and reset grid and that will keep our control points so they're not marked. And now we can get a little wider adjustment. You can see, able to just bring this around right in line, super nice. So I'm not doing a very good job with this right now, showing it off. So let me go ahead and reset this again. Let me go ahead and reside this, this back to eight just so it's a little bit easier. Don't need to copy mappings, resize. And now we can just go ahead and drag this in and down. And there we go. So now we have much more natural skin super easily. And then along with that, we also have our luminosity versus saturation. So here's our luma and here's our saturation. So we can really easily with a lot of control, desaturate our shadows a little bit. So we want less red in our shadows and we want more tealy cyan looking good. We want the skin brighter. So once again, we can click and we can bring the luminance up. Whoa, look at this. Now, all of a sudden, she looks like she was shot by a professional and not by Theo on the back of the boat. We can barely see a screen. So here's what we did before. A couple moves. It's fine. It looks good. And then afterwards, ah, oh, we get all this extra stuff. This is so good. I'm very excited. So hopefully all you color people are out there just foaming at the mouth. There's a free trial of this so you can test it out, try it out on shots. This has made my life so much easier, especially because I get a lot of jobs where people are like, hey, I shot this and it looks bad. Can you fix it? More than, hey, I shot this and it looks beautiful. Can you bring out the natural essence of this? So this is just amazing for fixing that. So here's another shot. Let's move on and play around some because this is just so much fun. So this one is another one that's, you know, we could fix normally. If we drop this on here, we'll go back to Hoover saturation. And this is in ACES. So this is with uh, uh, ACES transform. So that's sort of, you know, goofing things up a little bit. We can bring this in. And maybe we'll make the whole scene cooler. So there, bring this in and make it a little less magenta. Maybe... Bring these hues in some, and there we go. We have a shot that's like actually balanced out and looks semi-nice. I mean, we can 
bring these around a little dot there. We can maybe make this a little more on the yellow side. Oop. We can maybe make this a little more on the yellow side. It's right there, it's starting to look pretty good. We can go to our luminance control. And we can just once again bring him up a little bit. Bring the rest of the scene down a little bit. And look at this. Now you have something that looks like a shot with one node. So this is something that I wish that Resolve would have just have built in. I wish it's been there for a while, ever since I learned that this control existed back in with 3D LUT Creator, which is a really cool piece of software also. And they have a plugin that works with this that I'll probably do a video on eventually. But uh, no color remap just sort of delayed delayed that video in the cycle. So, I mean, we'll, we'll keep going because I've got some more shots here to play with. Uh, you're probably done with this already, but let's go through. And once again, I know this sounds like I'm just being a fanboy, but for those of you who've done work like this, you know this is so nice. So look at that. We fixed his skin in just a couple moves, all on one control. Just so nice. What about this? What if we want to make a look? We can use it for more stuff. So we can bring this in. This is, actually, let me go and get another shot. All right, so this, this is something that you'll see all the time, which I wouldn't recommend doing with it. This is like the orange teal LUT that you see around all over the place. This is basically how a lot of them did it, where it just looks really bad. And you can do that with this. So you just do all this hue versus hue nonsense. And you'll see, we'll turn these green things teal, which is not recommended. But there you go. Now this looks familiar to you, huh? We got this LUT everywhere, and maybe it looks fine. With this, we can do a little nicer stuff. So we can bring up the color contrast there. We can make the whole scene cooler also, so it's a little bit too saturated. So we can bring these guys in some. So this is a little more of a looky thing that you can do with it, but it's really great for those uh, corrections. We can bring, and it did a really good job with it, where it just looks good. I don't know whatever math's going on there, but it looks great. And now here we'll go ahead and do another like correction type thing. So we'll um, maybe make this all a little bit cooler since this is sort of a little off white balancey. So now see everything looks nice and balanced. And just moving our white point around, which is super handy. So that's looking pretty good. Maybe we want to saturate up these shadows some. So we can pull these guys out. And this is just bringing the low saturation points of this hue up to a higher thing. This is just just the best. Maybe we want to make these trees greener. You can see we can click. You see they're actually not that green right now. So what I'll do is I'll add another node and I'll add another instance of this afterwards. And we'll make this one a much more exacting one. So go ahead and resize our grid to 16. Resize. And now we can take the ends of these and really shift them towards green. And now you can look, see our trees in the background are really popping up. So here it was before, and you can just pull these over, and now they're green. Maybe that's too much green. In the same move without lifting up your mouse, you can bring the saturation down. And now they actually look like pine trees in the background instead of, you know, not pine trees. I don't know, dead pine trees. Now they're alive pine trees. Look at that. Isn't that great? Anyway, so I've gushed about this enough. I'm, people need to know about this. Um, download the free trial. If you do want to end up buying it, use the promo code THEO at the end, T-H-E-O, and you'll get some amount off and I'll get some kickback, which is always nice also. But even if you don't want to get it, check out the free trial. It's super good. Um, if you're doing any sort of like professional color work where there's time involved, this is going to really help you out there's a pro version and not pro version also. The pro version supports ACES, so that's what we've been doing this um, whole project in because Eastern Media is mostly an ACES house right now unless there's some this really annoying project that comes up where ACES is, makes it more annoying rather than less annoying. But that's aside from the point. Um, we'll also have a video on ACES eventually. Uh, I think I've guessed on long enough. You can also subscribe to this Eastern Media YouTube channel if you want more stuff like this. Um, I'm sure I'll be using this. I'll try not to use this in tutorials, just since it's a paid thing. 
but I probably will eventually, especially in live streams, because occasionally we do do live streams. So be subscribed for that also, because occasionally I'll have viewers send in footage and then we can grade it live on the internet, which is always fun. It's a good time. But yeah, leave a comment down below about how excited you are about this, because this just makes me really happy. I know the good people at Blackmagic have been doing a bunch of work integrating Fusion and stuff, but really I would have been a whole lot happier if we just had this, just adding this in our bin of color tools, because this makes life so much better having these two things. So good. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Hopefully I remembered to mention all the things to do. Like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment. Check out this plugin because it's super good. Sorry, if, sorry again if I sound like a corporate chill, but the only people who will think that are the people who don't understand just how important this plugin is. So once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. Hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.